Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we're doing a very quick video on how to update the Apple Pie Mini as well as fix the audio issue that comes with navigation, reducing your overall audio quality as it plays over your music. So let's jump in and learn how to do it. And today we're going to try and update the Apple Pie Mini. There is an update out, and I'll link it in the notes below. So we're first going to plug this in to our USB port. That's now going to fire up. I have got a SIM card in here. It's a pay-as-you-go. West on Stanmer Avenue, then turn right to stay on Stanmer Avenue. So that's totally replicatable. We'll get this updated now and see if it fixes that issue. Right, so we're in the studio and um, we need to get the update for this particular dongle. In the video, I've actually linked in here, in the description, this bit.ly link to allow you to get to the update pages for the dongle. So we'll go there. And here we are on the Explorer webpage. And you can see here, we've got some um, of the newest updates here, the 24th of September. There's a Google Drive download there. There's one in August as well that fixes a few things there as well. So we're just going to go with a new one, 24th of uh, September, and um, we can actually got the update here and we're going to download it. That's now going to download to our drive and we're going to switch back whilst that's downloading. That's 1.3 gig, that's quite a lot. Um, and what do we need to do? So we need to download the firmware and we need to put it onto a TF card. So we've got an SD card here. Uh, this is a SanDisk Ultra, 32 gig. I uh, mostly use it for like security webcams. But first things first, we need to format this stick. And then here we're going to erase it. Uh, let's just call it update FAT32. Okay, so that's done. So we're going to close that down. And then let's just bring this up. And then in another window, we just need to, we need to copy the update zip file. We don't need to extract it. So we'll do that first. So we'll go to our downloads folder, get the zip file, put it into the update. That's now going to copy across. So that update has been copied over to the TF card. Now I'm gonna eject that safely. So that's now on this card. And that goes in, I think it's like that way into the top of the unit, uh, you can see here. Insert the TF card, uh, then we turn on the unit and it will copy the file onto the smart box. And then after that, it will finish copying and it will take six minutes to update uh, and wait for it to reboot. And then you take out the TF card. Don't leave the TF card in there, otherwise it will go into like a boot loop. So this is the September update, ready to go. Let's jump in the car and let's finish this update off. Right, so we're back in the car. We've got the SIM card installed into the slot here and we're gonna plug it in and see how the update goes. So I've plugged it into the USB port, I'm going to start up and we're going to boot up and hopefully this will come alive and we will eventually start the upgrading process. So right now the update hasn't been detected just yet. A few moments later. Facing upwards, you have to put it in that way and let it click in. Here we go. Yes, we do. Right, so lesson learned there. Don't put this hard in until uh, you've actually got it booted up and, and then it will actually copy over. So that's quite rapid because uh, it's built into the storage. That's copying the file over. So now we're going to prepare to update. This is the bit that probably will take a while. So I'll speed through this. Now the dongle's rebooting. So now the red light is now flashing, blue light is solid. So I assume that is now doing the, applying the update. So I'll keep it held here so you can see it. And this bit might take some time. A few moments later. Right, so we've got a solid red light. We've now got auto boot now. So that's how, that's an improvement. We've got a new splash screen. Seems like it's got a bit of a longer boot up time than before. So maybe a few more things are happening at the moment. Right, a couple of apps are being now upgraded. It's probably why it says that it takes around about six minutes because it probably has to upgrade a lot of the apps as well. Also, I've got the TF card still installed. 
Got a couple of apps being upgraded, Netflix included. Also, when you're doing this, make sure that you've got, you know, the battery in your car is good enough to support at least over six to 10 minutes of battery usage. Obviously you can start the car as well to keep your battery topped up. So at this point, we don't want to upgrade and we want to remove the TF card with the update on it. So it's not gonna keep applying the update. And now we're back into the user interface again for Android. We're just gonna head over to settings and go to the Apple Pie settings. Uh, we've got a new feature here that wasn't in here before. Some lagging, I, I believe, or something like that. I think that's what they're trying to say, or maybe some touch input freezing, perhaps. You reduce this so it's got less time to uh, update the screen. Uh, no other options have changed in here, but you can see we have applied the 9th of September 2021, 1633. And obviously the protocol version is also updated to August the 28th, 2021. Still running on Android 9. Uh, Wi-Fi or hotspot has been renamed. So hopefully that might be a little bit more solid now. But now we're going to look into removing the audio issue which changes whenever you get navigation commands and it just changes the the quality of the audio as it comes through i'm going to show you how to remove that so i'm going to play the issue um or what you actually get currently i've got music playing from the spotify app the android app this will also occur if you've got carplay running in the background and you're using a sim in the android dongle itself and um if i go back and go to maps and then and find a location and then go to directions. So I'm gonna press start now and you'll be able to see the quality difference of the audio. Head northwest on Stanmer Avenue, then turn right to stay on Stanmer Avenue. Yeah, so that hasn't, that hasn't fixed it. And I can't change the volume. So you can tell the difference of that is uh, not very good. So what you need to do to remove that is you go to your profile, scroll all the way down to settings, then go to navigation settings near the bottom. And on the bottom, you've got Hey Google detection and you want to disable while driving. So you turn that off and we go all the way back. And if you punch in a location, check the directions and then start. Head northwest on Stanmore Avenue, then turn right to stay on Stanmore Avenue. And now the audio is fixed. So that's how you fix it. And I hope you found this video helpful. You've just checked out how to update the dongle to improve the reliability and some of the apps that are currently stock built into that dongle itself and also you've got the know-how on how to fix that bluetooth quality coming through on the apps when you're switching between music and navigation commands all right i hope you found this video helpful and we've learned how to update the apple pie mini as well as fix that nasty audio bug if you found some value in this video please hit that like button down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this Apple Pie Mini. You can check out all my other how-to guides up in this playlist here. Hit that subscribe button down below to catch all my future content. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.